We are here. The day that I never thought would come. An official online release of not just one Marvel vs. Capcom, but all the Marvel vs. Capcoms. I mean, come on. But while I'm sure everybody's playing Marvel vs. Capcom 2, I, being the nostalgic old man that I am, have to, I have to go straight into Marvel super, superheroes. My personal favorite fighting game of all time. This is the game that got me into big bodies. This is the game where I got the juggernaut fetish, whatever you want to call it. This was the game that made me really want to learn about fighting games for some reason. I mean, Street Fighter, yeah, we used to play it for fun and we, we'd be okay at it. But this was the game that I was like, I want to learn everything about this game. So, let's go. Now, I played some casual matches yesterday when it came out. It's already selected, right? Uh, what is the basic standby? Just stay in the menu or whatever? Yeah, sure, let's just do that then. Let's see. Let's see if we're connecting anybody. And we're going to jump straight in. Um, I played some casuals yesterday. I about to say, I played about five matches, but I think it was closer to like 10 or 15. And um, that felt pretty good. Um, so I want to rank to try to, I want to wait to see to try to jump in the rank today. Just to see if anybody's playing ranked. Because what, what I'm afraid is going to end up happening is, well, we'll probably end, end up having to play <laughs> something else because nobody's playing Marvel superheroes. I hope so, though. Because the matches I had yesterday were really fun. <clears throat> but, I mean, just playing the games and just the, how good... Pretty much all of the games still hold up. Chil Chil Children of the Atom is still, you know, it's a little rough. It was it was the first one, you know. They really didn't know what they were doing until superheroes. So you know there were there were juggles, but they weren't really air combos. There were combos, but they still felt kind of almost more of a glitch than like you know built into the the foundation of the game <laughs> but um but yeah still holds up uh finally played all the way through the punisher for, for, for the first time yesterday too i remember that game and i remember seeing that games in the arcades pretty sure i never played it in the arcades played it on an emulator some years ago and only like the first couple levels so actually got to play through it all the way through too and it was pretty good uh, one funny thing was the two games that I never really cared for back in the day when they came out which was Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter and Marvel vs. Capcom 1 um, God I probably had some of the most fun playing through through those again yesterday because just took me back to college first year of college for Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, playing it at the arcades in there, and then, um, God, when did we play Marvel vs. Capcom first? Pretty sure it was at Cyber Station. Yeah, it must have been. I think it's when we started going back to Cyber Station again, which used to be Aladdin's Castle when it moved down the hall and around the corner from where Aladdin's Castle used to be in the in the mall. But then we found out Aladdin's Castle moved across the street and that uh, Cyber Station was new. That was the Namco. That was a Namco owned one. Yeah. So we started going there again and I remember they had Capcom vs. SNK 1. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. Street Fighter 3. 
and like you know stuff like that so but we had stopped going to Aladdin's castle for a while because that's where we used to go to play you know all the street fighters and and uh samurai showdowns and fatal furies and stuff like that and i don't I'm, I'm guessing college we just didn't have time but then we started going back again and aladdin's castle wasn't there anymore but around the corner was cyber station that's when we started playing it there what's up jason just trying to see if anybody's playing uh Mar marvel superheroes it's not looking like it come on man i just want to play some ranked matches i just want to head crush some folks Come on. I knew I should have did this yesterday, but I didn't think I was going to have time yesterday. But then I ended up sitting down and playing it for like five hours yesterday. <clears throat> oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see if I remember. Let's see if I remember how to play this game. <laughs> like for real against a person. All right, Shuma Gorath. Apple Penguin, let's go. Oh. oh I'm, I'm stunned? Nope. Get away from me. Oh, you... <laughs> Ah, all right. Wake up. Waste of flesh. Oh, that's right. That's what the mind gym did. No! Roll back this way. No. We got the space gym. Let's go. Ah, I missed it. I'm pretty sure this isn't turbo either. No! This was messing me up more, more, more than anything else. I should have did it. Double, double. That's how you do it. I'm unstoppable. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Told you clowns before I would stop them all. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I love this game so much. Love it. And I hit the double head crush on my first game on stream. Thank you. That crap was so hard back in the day. Then I stay there. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah! All right. I woke it up. Stop! Oh, come on! What was Shumagora's pre preferred gem? I don't care. Okay, I should have cared a little. Oh, you thought I was going to be there? Because I was there. So you thought I was going to be there, but then I was there. Bones not knitting fast enough?
It's not like two out of three. You just keep going until somebody gets tired of losing. So suitable for fighting. Man, I'm telling you, I, when I booted this up yesterday, it almost brought a tear to my eye. It just reminds me of a time when video games were something great. I don't care. What? How did that miss? Oh! Really? Get my life back. Oh, no, wait. I didn't realize I had other, other gems. No. That was supposed to be a head crush. And that was supposed to be the soul gem. I didn't realize I had other gems. <laughs> oh. Got all about his... Juggernaut head crush. Every time. Every time. God, this reminds me of being a putt putt. Skipping high school to go play this game all freaking day. <laughs> this guy needs to get there for the training mode. <laughs> just got punched. You shoot when you should have dewooped. Oh, that's right. It's time, Jim, for him. I'm getting jacked. That wasn't it. Uh oh, you might have me this time. You might have me. Could have grabbed me. I gotta stop jumping. What? He's just using them all now, so I can't use them. How does he keep throwing me first? Oh! Bull crap. Bull crap, he cheated. 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 <laughs> My tentacle fury. That's well, cool, you still get a point. Even when you lose, so anybody can just raise up the ranks. <clears throat> I mean. You know, these are the games I grew up with, so I'm always going to like them a little bit more. I did it again! Back when, if you tech the throw, it didn't really do anything. Hey, he keeps rolling at the wrong time. Every 
time I don't expect him to roll, he he rolls. <laughs> hey, Crusher, get you every time. Don't watch the tootsies. Hey, Crusher, get you every time. Mm. Worst part is me and this one guy are probably the only guys playing this game online right now. There's a good chance we're in the top ten in the world. <laughs> Ah, uh, hello? Don't you dare. Get away! My fists were in him! Oh, that's a chip. No! Power up! That was head crush! Oh, I didn't have meter. Okay, that's why I got power up instead. So he was dead! <laughs> I didn't have meter. Probably should have tried the uh, counter there. Uh, uh. Juggernaut. Juggernaut all day. Overwhelming for the I mean, this is what rosters for fighting games were back, back then. You know, the idea of more than like 12 characters in a game was probably like, you know, insane. Only like Street Fighter was doing that at the time. Look, Super Street Fighter 2 had, what, 16? And that was a lot of characters back then. Got on that time, dag on it. Couldn't double it that time, but that's all right. Stomp on him. How did that miss? Wow, the light didn't come out. Just so you can't use it. so much. I love it, I love it, I love it. I could literally sit here and play it all night. If I didn't have work to do, I probably would.
this is how armor works. Not that Marissa weird armor in the middle of moves bull crap. I'm talking about just full on super armor. Just, just run up and grab me then. I'm trying to remember, because I remember back in the day, we, we used to avoid it constantly. With nobody getting grabbed with, uh, uh with nobody getting grabbed with Sh Sh Shumagorath's supers back in the day. Now it's just like, it's just grabbing me with impunity. <laughs> Number one trouble at <laughs> global. I doubt it, but I mean, it's probably is probably a pretty good a uh, pretty good chance. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I remember. Actually, one of the most fun nights of my high school life was the night that we uh, sat up in putt putt all night after they closed, and we worked out a touch to touch of death combo combo with a. Uh, Gora took us hours, but but we knew something was there. We knew something was there though, because we realized that once he finishes it, if you time it right, you could you could do his jumping medium punch, I think, or medium kick. I remember it's, it's, it's like a scoop move. It's like a it's like a scoop that he does out of the sky, and it would OTG you, and you can combo into it again. And if you had two bars, it was it was kind of um, it was kind of impractical because you would have had to have two bars. Uh, not not really if you started off around, but either way, we we worked it out. But it took us all night, and by the time we realized. Uh, what time it was, the sun was coming up, and we we all had school the next day. And if I remember correctly, we, we basically just went home, ate breakfast, and then went straight to school. So we had stayed up the entire night playing this game, and then went to school the next day. And then crashed. I mean, that, that happened a couple of times at least, but that particular night, though, we, we, had, we had a goal. We were like, I think you you can combo into his super move twice, and then once we realized that you could, it was like this 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 got to be a way to com com complete completely kill somebody. Ah, did it too early. Um, and you got to remember this was way before you YouTube or the internet or anything like that. So if if somebody else had found a touch of death combo, we didn't know. As far as we we knew, we were the first ones to ever find something like 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 that. Definitely in our scene, anyway. Oh, you. That's right. That's what you get. Man, I'm trying to remember because seriously, back in the day, nobody got hit by by his super move. Shumagora super was considered the worst in the game. <laughs> Everybody knew how to get 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 around it back then. I said Juggernaut punch. See ya. Nope. More must keep head crushing. Hey. Oh, I'm probably not allowed to fight him anymore. That was fun. <clears throat> Game doesn't make you skip sleep. <laughs> it's trash. <laughs> uh, yeah. Tell you what, let's go to in-game standby. 
Let's go into Marvel Superheroes. I'm working on the beat every game with every character achievement, so might as well do that while we wait. Uh, I think I'm on Iron Man. Let's see if I remember anything with him. All these songs I hum in my head all day. Even now, all these years after, and it's like, oh, that's right, that's where I got this song from. I sing that song constantly in my head. That little intro and everything, and when I played uh, X-Men vs. Street Fighters, a couple songs from that, I'm like, that's where I got that from. It's the same guy! What the heck? We really are the only two guys in the world playing it. I figured they canceled it, or it canceled because he didn't want to play anymore. But yeah, we're probably the only two playing the game right right now. What was the Japanese guy I was playing yesterday? Well, he's probably not playing ranked. He was good too. He played with everybody. I knew not to jump. That's how you do armor. Oh, you know I'm about to head crush. Well, this time. <laughs> Pick him up. Nah, I stomp on him. That's fine. Well, now we're playing the Japanese version. Is there a difference? <clears throat> oh, Lord. What's up? Thing gonna come with a physical cart in the EU? Like, not, not at all. I mean, obviously I'm playing the Steam version, but... Every time I don't think he's gonna roll, every time I think he's gonna roll, he doesn't. Wake up, head crush. Every time. <laughs> he's finally learned to stop jumping straight up. He's jumping away, but it's like you should probably just not do anything. Nah. I gotta work on that timing. Don't even give him a chance. Why, why are we playing the Japanese version all of a sudden? Cool. <clears throat> See, it's just uh, J. Wong Steam review tweet. No, I didn't. So you pick a no physical card, just a code in the box. Ah. So wait, is that for like the consoles? Oh, sorry. Is that, is that for like the consoles or for Steam? I'm <laughs> Guilty Gear music. God, just give me Juggernaut and Street Fighter, please! <laughs>
I need some practice. No, nope, not what I wanted. Get away! Get away! Ah! He's learned. Watch this. No! Headbutt! Headbutt. Head crush. Ah, that's too slow. Waste stuff. Oh, I got it. No, my space gym! Too slow. Oh. <laughs> Come on, so I just gotta hit him one more time. I'm sorry, dude. We're the only two pe people playing it. Uh, just for Switch. Oh, that sucks. I hope it's not like that over here, because I, I got the Switch and the uh, PlayStation version pre-ordered. It better come with a cart. Ah. I'm about to say he's going to go ahead and use it so I can't. Stay away! Sit down! <laughs> but I remember back when this game came out, people hated the fact that when, when somebody su super jumped, the camera followed them and not you on the, on the ground. Boy, people hated that. Man, this game is dumb as garbage, man. I can't even see what the hell I'm on the ground trying to do I don't know where I am where you are it's like that was part of the game oh, I forgot yeah don't do that but better roll <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah I remember this in uh, X-Men well X-Men always felt kind of like a weird you know, test bad anyway, but when this game came out, it felt much more re refined. The super jumping, everybody hated. And it's just something that we all had to get used to at the time. That when your opponent super jumped, you're left on the ground and you can't see yourself. just an accepted part of the game now. No! Am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, I got it now. Totally invulnerable. For all of two counts. <laughs> well, actually, you're not totally invulnerable. Vulnerable there. Throw still hurts. Yeah, throw still hurt, hurt him. But any physical attack. No damage at all. Come on! Ah, got me. Watch out. 
chip damage. I'm mad. Messed up my win streak. <clears throat> Probably gonna go ahead and pre-order the Xbox version too. Yeah, just cause I I just I just I want to be able to play this game on whatever system I happen to be standing by whenever I want. <laughs> That's why I got the fighting collection on everything. Just about. I don't think I have that on Xbox. But I know I got it on play PlayStation, Switch, and Steam. I wish they had crossplay. Uh oh. I hate that they took the screen flash out of the game. Start up. Jump! <laughs> mm. If this was back in the day, I would have locate head, head crushed him as soon as he started running. My, my, my reaction times aren't what they used to be. <laughs> like, not at all. <clears throat> oh. That PlayStation Pro? PlayStation 5 Pro? Yeah, I don't... Mm. I, mm. Mm. Yeah, I, mm. I, I don't know what Sony's doing these days. I mean, the fact that we're four years into to the lifespan of that thing, and, and it hadn't even got a price drop yet, and then they want to bring out a more expensive version of it. A more expensive version of it that's like marginally better. Look how it makes these old games marginally better. Notice I have how I have to show you background things in these games because the game itself doesn't actually look any better. 4K is still 4K. Oh, that's right. That's a command grab. Oh, you got soul? Oh, shoot. I say, please tech hit. God, just out of range, you lucky dog. But I feel like Sony had to hurry up and release it. Because of Grand Theft Auto 6. I think they had to go ahead and work on that tech because... Grand Theft Auto 6 is probably not going to run on it. And they're probably going to end up doing the same thing that the uh, the PS4 Pro did. Or wouldn't you like to play these games at at full at full looks but also get the 60 frames and then eventually games start coming out for the Pro where you're still having to select uh per performance mode if you wanted higher gra graphics? I guarantee you Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be the exact same thing. I guarantee it. And the fact that Sony doesn't even have anything to besides their old games that there's not a whole lot of uh, to show for it kind of proves to me that it was kind of rushed out the door. And they really only did it because... I, I think because Rockstar told them, hey, uh, our, our game's not going to run on your con console. You're 
you're going to need something better. It's like, well. Or it's not going to run good anyway. And seeing that they got the seemingly the console exclusive exclusivity for, for, for a while. I don't think it's ever been confirmed, but that's kind of the word going around. Roll. Nope. Every time. Next time I'm going to go for it, he's, and, he, and he's going to roll. Watch. Ah, he, he called it! <laughs> I used to do the same thing in the arcade. Press the button way too many times. Yeah, don't do that that close to me. I can, I can do that. While you're still recovering from doing it, I can do that. So don't do that when I'm close. That's 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 just asking for death. Do you want a head crush? Because when you do that, I'm just gonna head crush. <clears throat> in here having fun. I need to reach at. Uh, Crap. I gotta scroll up. Stay away! Get away! <laughs> Forgot that's actually his best poke. Head crush! Command grab, alright, alright. Ah, he should have been dead. Should have hit crushed earlier. I want folks to die of epilepsy. <laughs> Alright, GG's. Uh... Gotta be the same guy. Does it? No, that's a new guy. Cool. All right, let's get destroyed by this guy. Go ahead and pick Iron Man or Spider Man. Both of those characters destroy Jug Jug Juggernaut. Magneto can too. 
But Iron Man, me press all day. There's hardly anything I can do about it. Yeah, but I gotta watch out for him. He's not like uh, Shuma Gorath. His fierces actually break my armor, so. I said your fierces break my armor. Remember that. What? Oh, and the speed is up, thank God. <laughs> Try fighting old sick people. I forgot his freaking his freaking digs. Oh, that was his first game. I'm sorry. <laughs> had a huge loss, yeah. I mean, the only like, purchase case I could see for somebody wanting to get the um, PS Pro is, first, you're rich and you don't already have a P P PS5. At least now. I'm sure, maybe, they'll, they'll come out with something that is like, hey, you have to have a PS5 in order to get the most out of this. But for right now, Always hope strength against him in this game. He's faster. And he hurts almost as much. That's right, he didn't get the gamma wave until Marvel Superhero vs. Street Fighter. Unnecessary. Stomp on him! making me play Marvel Super Heroes like, like it's a real fighting game. What's wrong with you? So I'm good to go wherever you are. God, I need to get caught up. Do you guys like Cyberpunk? Yes! One of my favorite games of all time. The GTA 6 trailer here is 200 miles. Yeah, well, ruining folks' fun? What, what who, me? Uh-oh. Let's see if he knows what to do with Iron Man. He doesn't. He doesn't. Dude. How about I say, you should be you. Unibeam. 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 Smart bomb. Unibeam. Unibeam. Smart bomb. Knee press. Smart bomb. Unibeam. That's all you should be doing against me. Juggernaut can can not handle being zoned in this game, like not at all in any game, actually. <laughs> any game where he doesn't have an assist, which is pretty much everyone that he's in except for NBC Two. Should have did the first one, dude. Zone me. 
If I'm that close, smart, smart bomb, smart bomb, smart bomb, smart bomb, smart bomb, smart bomb. Smart bomb, smart bomb, jump, knee, knee press into smart bomb. And then when I'm back on the other side of the screen, Unibeam. It's literally it. Oh, he's getting two points every time he loses now. That's, that's something. Let's go, bub. Watch this. I'm gonna throw this. I'm gonna throw this chunk. Chunk at him. That's out of the screen now. This poor guy. Alright, I can't I can't take any more. I can't take any more points off this guy. He, he's this is probably his first time ever playing this game. Probably some 12 year old kid who just saw Deadpool versus Wolf Wolverine and thought this game would look cool. Stop rolling toward me. Okay. Oh, I was holding head crush, but whatever. Here we go. Oh, you broke my rock. I wanted to kill him with the rock. That should be an achie achievement. <laughs> There's so much cool little stuff like that in the game, like him and Hulk are the only characters that can pick up items from certain maps. So Hulk stage, Captain America stage. Is it Doctor Doom stage too? GG's. Uh, wait, is it Doctor Doom stage? Can somebody grab that? Or is that Magneto stage? With the little green thing. Can't somebody grab that green thing in the foreground? I can't remember. If I remember how to play with Iron Man, I'll show you what he should have been doing. How do you do the knee press? Crap, how do you do the knee press? Superior tech! Oh yeah, and then that every time I jump. It's like one of the best anti-airs in the freaking game. Because even if they block it, it pushes them away. You're usually safe. Spider-Man. Guy eighty six one six. Alright, alright. Now I'm playing the guy who never stopped playing the game. Yeah, he probably knows what he's doing. He saw me pick Juggernaut and immediately went to Spider Man. Jumping fierce as all day. <laughs> Spider Man is tough, but not not in pop possible. Oh, you didn't know I could reach all the way over there? Because, see, I can reach all the way over there. Okay. I'll take it back. He doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> Whoa! 
Why are you trying to do jumping attacks in front of me like that? What's wrong with you? You gonna whip a jumping attack, a jumping attack in front of me? That's why you getting laughed at. <laughs> Like, folks didn't grow up playing these games. What's wrong with y'all? Didn't everybody skip high school to play this game? It's called a combo. You gotta block the combo. Oh, you didn't know I had air combos? Cause see, I got air combos. I'm Juggernaut. Oh! Nice, nice. He doesn't know who he's dealing with. Maybe you should try fighting old sick folks. I mean, he kind of is, to be fair. <laughs> it's like, somebody's got to be able to beat him, right? Spider-Man can. So Spider-Man and Iron Man are, are the ones I hated fighting the most. Him too, if he if he does the right moves. But he's got to be careful. Don't just sit back and throw his projectiles because I can pun punish those and go through them with all of my moves. I don't know why that's missing. Did it too late. Why might I get my head crush? like people didn't grow up playing this game. Uh. <laughs> yeah, right after about it. Bully? Bully? As much as you bu bu bully me, my, my reactions are still slow and all of that crap. I just have armor. That's all right. Give it about a month. All these young young folks who never who who never played 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 this game before, they'll learn all the tricks, and I'll I will be losing. I will be losing. Something fierce. There it is. Just, if you see that the combo is getting blocked, just finish it with a... Oh, I didn't have hit crush. See ya! I mean, I'm not even using gems. Can't be... I'm not bully. I'm not even playing half the game. I understand. <laughs> You skip school to give money to a machine. Uh, well, by then my brother was playing to, was uh, working at Putt Putt, so I usually played for for for, for free. I got confused for a second, like, why the hell about why did I choose Iron Man off right off? Got him. This is the wait. 
This is the wait screen. Low pro profile and stitch. Oh, we got it. <sighs> Spider sense tingling. If I end up beating the game here, I hope that counts for, toward the achievement. And I hope you don't actually have to finish the end boss in each tag game with each ca character in order to get the beat the game with everybody achieve achievement. That would be unfair. Oh yeah, Repulsor Blast, I forgot. Proton, low profile at! I can't, I can't do his infinite. I can barely do his moves. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> Give me $20 and I'll fix that PS5 controller drift. Think about it. <laughs> Last time I tried to get one of y'all to fix something, y'all broke my dang stick. Vicky. Cool, I'm fighting a girl. Easy work. Ask Brandon. He was the one that broke my stick. <laughs> you sold him two PS5 controllers you fixed? Okay. I'll think about it. I mean, I, I have one now, but I still have my, my old controller that still has drift, so... Not a fan of the... Uh, Green shake shaking the way it is. Gotta watch the Tootsies. I mean, how many games I gotta tell folks that? No. No. Roll back this way. No, no. Okay. Oh, I don't have meter. No, I do have meter. I, I have full meter. I don't know why it didn't come out. He's got combos. He kind of knows what he's doing. I think that's just a case of him not understanding the, the game feel as much as I do. So that's what I'm talking about. In a month, I won't be able to beat, beat this guy. He's going to understand how the game works better. And he's going to be like, oh, Spider-Man destroys him. All I got to do is this. <laughs> I 
swear that used to hit. Why would you do that? I mean, I know why you would do it. Sixteen, seventeen-year-old me is screaming right, right now. How do you keep missing the the head crush there? I don't know. I don't know, man. Dude, dude, router kicking. Block that. Lag switching, router kicking. Barely does any damage, but looks cool. I want to press start and stomp on these folks so bad, but I don't want to. I don't want anybody to get mad at me, or even more mad than they probably already are. <clears throat> nope, this game don't push block. As a matter of fact, I found out an interesting thing that I talked to my brother about earlier this afternoon. Uh, we both remember push blocking only showing up first in Marvel vs. Capcom One. Turns out it was in Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter 2. We just never knew it. Neither us nor no one else we played that game with in the arcade with ever did a push block in that game. We didn't know it was in the game. I don't care. Still get thrown. About to get stunned. You got. All right, I think he's about to quit. What? What? Am I getting texts? Why am I getting so many points for beating him? Oh, Lord. Ace Combat's lurking, apparently. <laughs> What's up, Ace? Oh, you thought I was going to keep acting the fool. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm juggernaut. This ain't NBC2. See, that's what's wrong with you youth, you youths now. Spend all your time trying to learn the infinite combos. You don't learn how to play the damn game. All I got to do is hit my infinite. If I can just hit my infinite. I keep telling them this, Jugs, but they don't listen to me. <clears throat> da -da -da -da. 
Uh, yeah, watch Fight K YouTube channels that have old games like this being played. Yeah. The <laughs> buff juggernaut. Yes, thank you. He should have the speed gem constantly attached. Space gem, yeah, yeah, I gotta earn that. But speed gem, yeah, just go ahead and give, give me that. It's cool. Think, think with the time gem, I can do a full, I can do a full air combo, like with all six buttons. Oh, I got the time gem. Let's 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 give it a shot. Damn you and your super armor. I'm trying to test something. Got me. Why? No way he'll 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 head crush again. Oh. Oh. He can he can head crush again. <sighs> Old man yells at youngster about not learning the game. <laughs> yeah, see this is this is this is when I used to learn games. This is when I used to learn games. Now I just press buttons and hope and hope hope, hope I win. I ain't got time for that crap. I will be able to beat youngsters at this game until I'm 80. The newest Street Fighter game, though? Eh, I'll try. Stomp on him! Get my Space Gem back. Pray I don't use it. You just run away anyway. You better move! That wasn't enough. That's fine. Chip his ass out. No! He... Nope, he's gonna mess up. I'd say he's. Ugh! <laughs> so you can't go straight down. See, if you learn the game, you know that. If he learned the game, he'd know that. I mean, does no one go to training mode anymore? <sighs> you youths. You youth senior, I'll learn about it on you YouTube. Back in my day, we had to stay up all night at Putt Putt. Learn this crap on our own. He's doing the right thing, but he's also doing the wrong thing. Yeah, Spider-Man is so fast with the time gem. He's almost too fast with the time gem. I saw what he was trying to do there, but he's, he's doing it wrong. Yeah, he's doing the right thing there. He's staying away and waiting for me to do something to punish. But he's but when he's trying to poke, he's using the wrong attack. He, sh he should be using Fierce. Fierce breaks ju ju Juggernaut's armor. Almost every Fierce attack in the game will break his armor. So that's if you're going to try to poke him, but especially if you're going to punish him, that's what you should be concentrating on doing. Um, there's a few exceptions. I think Shuma Gorath's, like his multi-hit fierce punch, doesn't break armor on the first hit. Uh, I don't think his jumping, I don't think his jumping fierce do, does either. But almost every other character's jumping fierce does as well. Let's 
suppose he's just standing. Just got the start of the infinite. Can't just sit there. I could have just punched, but head crush. Got the cross up and everything. There you go. Up. Oh, I, I thought you learned. Fierce is my friend. Fierce is. Wait, why am I telling everybody how to beat me? Especially Ace Combat on here. That's all. That's all. That's all he's going to be doing now. We're talking about a bully. <clears throat> Reality gym is hard to take in for some people. Yeah, well. Uh, I don't have a choice over which version. The first few on uh, the first few ranked matches I played was the English version, but now it's the Japanese version. I'm wondering if it's whatever the opponent version have selected when you go into it. But yeah, I don't have control over which version we play online. Finally got that timing down again. Now there's a way to cancel out of the punch into a jump to air combo. I know there is. I just never learned that basically glitch. That's the funny thing about this era too. You gotta recall, this is still around the time when like because this game came out around the time that Darkstalkers 2 did. So this is when fighting games started getting nuts. Combo counters, air combos with this game, you know, stuff like 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 that. But really before before like X-Men and Darkstalkers and Darkstalkers 2, folks considered combos to be like bugs, like a glitch. It's like you hit me four times, that's bull crap. <laughs> Now you got games where you're doing just, you know, 20-hit combos just by doing a motion and two buttons. A lot of folks thought that was... A lot of folks, that's why a lot of folks didn't like these games when they when they came out. But this, to me, this and Darkstalkers 2 especially really opened up what a fighting game was. Because you had, you know, you, you still had your Street Fighters, your uh, K, KOFs, you know, all of your more... St standard fighting games fairs for, for, for that stuff. But this was the wild stuff. This was the pre pre precursors to every anime games that, 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 that came after them. <laughs> well, there would be no anime games if it wasn't for Dark Stalks. St 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 Stalkers. Ah, I've been saying it for years, and I'll, I'll, I still believe that. Ah. That's alright. Get your life back. It's fine, because I'm just going to do this. Ah, head crush! Man, between this and Sam Show 3, playing with characters that just laugh after you and laugh at you after a win, priceless. <laughs> did Iron Man not have the knee pressing? I swear to God he did. Have I said I love this game? Because I love this game.
Iron Man obviously is not my <laughs> my character. I'm still trying to figure out his moves. Take your shield back. Ow! You shield slashing. I remember we had somebody in the arcade that used to play Iron Man. Oh, I remember who, what was that dude's name? He used to work at Putt Putt. Little short guy. He was actually really good at it, really really good at this game too. The only person he couldn't beat was was me. It, hey, he would get so mad. Just. Rip, rip, rip my ass. Just freaking head crush. Just head crush all day. Head crush. That's all you know how to do is head crush. Like, well, I mean, you keep getting hit by it, so I'm sorry. Because <laughs> he used to, he used to, he used to, he used to play with Iron Man and Shuma Gorath. He, I think, I, matter of fact, I think he played with a bunch of characters. But I think it was his Iron Man where folks realized, oh, Iron Man can beat him. Iron Man beats Juggernaut easy if you know what you're doing. Ah. No punish. Don't even respect the smart bombs. Now, what's the deal with the HAL sensors? Are those like the magnetized ones or something? Probably Wolverine and Psylocke. He played with a bunch of guys. I, 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 he, he might have played with them all. No longer think. Yeah. That's what I thought. Man combo into his air, his air move. Was it that? Might have exhausted the uh, everybody in the world that's playing this game. <laughs> that's playing this game. I guarantee you, there's several thousand folks playing MVC2, which I might. <clears throat> if we don't get a match here soon, I might jump on there just to just to see. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna get destroyed in that game. I'm gonna get destroyed in that game.
is the IRS going to come in? For what? No Fixing control... Trollers? I mean... They shouldn't have to, because obviously you're 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 gonna report that income. So, because all income should be re re reported, even though you don't owe self-employment tax on it until until you make at least four hundred. So, and nobody has to ten has to ten ten ninety nine until until you make until you make at least six hundred. Some folks will go ahead and ten nine. 99 if you make less than that because you know they they can but you know otherwise the IRS really doesn't know what you make until you report it especially if you're doing you know most mostly cash tr 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 transactions but you're supposed to report all those and I'm sure you do anyway so there's no reason for the IRS to come after you because you were reporting all of your income. I know you are. I have faith in you. Uh, but yeah, that's why I'm wary we're working with, with we're working with certain certain industries that are most mostly if not all cash that I just really don't deal with anymore. I did back when I had to, but now I don't have to, so I don't. I'm usually wary of businesses that also want to do their own books, especially if they deal in a lot of cash tra tra transactions. That usually means they're hiding something. <laughs> yep, mm-hmm. I live in a 4,000-square-foot house, and I only made 6,000 bucks last year. That's all right. With, without fail, that's the same person who needs to get a loan and will come back to me and say, hey, I need to show more income on my taxes. Why? You only made $6,000. I mean, that's not true. I got like a hundred grand in the bank. Really? Well, that must have been a very generous gift from a rich uncle or something because you only make 6,000 bucks. But now you're trying to buy a house, and now you actually need to show your income. It's almost as if you should have showed your real income from the start. Because guess what? All the taxes you didn't pay for all those earlier years, you're going to have to pay, pay them now with interest. Is it worth it? Was it worth hiding all of that in income? Where? out of it. I got dash instead of, oh, that's right, it's actually just two buttons. You can't hit three buttons in this game. No! Right? Doing the wrong thing. <laughs> uh, I'm a libertarian. Me hate IRS. Sounds like something I dealt. Oh, I've dealt with it multiple times. Like I said, back when I had to take any client who would have have me, really. But now I don't. I don't deal with folks who don't do who don't do things the right way. I just I just don't. I'll talk. You know, hypotheticals 
with you all day. But you ask me to do something that I know is wrong, yeah, it's not happening. You're gonna have to find somebody else, Brev. Well, look at that. Keep doing the wrong one. <clears throat> Remember back when this game came out, I wasn't reading. I was reading X Men, mostly X Men, and a little bit of Sp Spider Man too. But I didn't really read any of the Avengers stuff or like anything with like Doctor Doom or Iron Man or Captain America in it until I played this this game. I forgot all about that. I got super into Cap Captain America for a while. Even though that was like one of his worst worst times in comics. <laughs> and then I started reading some Avengers. And I got like really into Fantastic Four too. Oh, whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, I think I've exhausted the world's su supply of players playing Marvel superheroes online on Steam. So I'll see if I can beat it with Iron Man here real quick and then uh, probably jump into Marvel 2 for a few minutes before I gotta go. The K-Wings? Oh, boy, I don't, I, don't, I don't even wanna know. Case the IRS can uh, say they lied about him not paying something when he actually did. Prove it. All you got to do is show them. I got to tell you, <clears throat> I've actually helped quite a few folks with exact exactly that. Only one time did it turn out they were actually telling the, the truth. Is this somebody that constantly has their money being stole out of their bank account too. Don't know why that check bounced. Somebody must have took money out of my account. One of those kind. Because I deal with a lot of those too. And there's usually a reason. And I'll just say that. Sometimes it turns out, yes, there was fraud involved, or the IRS was just wrong. But a lot of times it doesn't take a lot of investigation to go, oh no, you didn't actually pay anything. You really wanted me to put my name on this thing and lie to the IRS. Gotcha. Uh, bye. Thanos was playable in the Saturn version, I think. Yeah. Some of my friend Chris had a uh, Saturn. And he figured out how to unlock lock him. No! <laughs> what was Iron Man's ending in this game? I don't remember. It's been so long. Let's see. Be 
weird at Thor. It just looks weird now. Once he is restored to other heroes, the gems are abandoned. Such power would turn saints into monsters. Let someone else be God. Later he realizes that he did not resist the, the temptation. His nervous system has been healed. I mean, with all that power, he helped only himself. Guess I'm not as strong as I thought. You're human, Tony, and you've been given another, another chance. Don't waste it. I won't. Now the fight really begins. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I, I beat it without even having to kill you pretty good for a character I don't even play and got the high score interesting all right all right let's get out of here wait am I still on standby even when I'm doing all of this probably <clears throat> Ram cart lady is almost arcade accurate in the side. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Did he have a ram cart? Because I remember it was it was late into the Saturn's life when he got this game. I remember he wanted a, a ram cart. I don't remember if he ever actually got one. Uh, well, you know what? Let's keep it on. I'm going to regret this. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, I can tell it which version to play. English version? I don't know. <clears throat> Cross region. Oh, I thought I had that on. That's probably why I wasn't getting more stuff. Wasn't but special moves. Hell no. Uh, well, it's in-game Marvel's Capcom 2. Get my Marvel's, get Marvel's Capcom back in the Marvel's Capcom 2 mode. Meanwhile, PlayStation was terrible. It, yeah, for 2D games especially. I mean, God, we still lived in a time where, like, the president or whoever the the head honcho of a Sony of America just outright said, "Oh no, we're never doing two 2D games again." You know. 3D games, and we're only doing Tomb Raiders and 3D fighting games from now on. Nobody wants to play a Mega Man or a Castlevania or a Street Fighter. Pshaw, those are old school days. You you want that crap? Go play it on a Nintendo. Oh, you can't. <laughs> well, I remember I almost threw my PlayStation out the window when he said that, that crap because um, uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night and Street Fighter Alpha was getting ready to come out. It's like, uh... Uh, pick my goofball team. It's gonna be funny going from those big, big, bright, beautiful, beautiful sprites to smaller. Somewhat night is bright. Actually, some reason not quite as beautiful too. But still. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, that's right. I got, I got a four button game. What am I gonna say? This this game, much like Street Fighter Three, I, I sometimes I laugh when. When it's this oh this is seminal classic. It's like really? Because everybody kinda hated it back back then. They got rid of two attack buttons, so it was gonna be a simple little stupid game. 
you know, there's gonna be no no skill involved. None of that that crap. The 3D backgrounds look dumb. You got these cool sprites with these 3D backgrounds, and man, let me tell you when the guy finished hook, hooking up that arcade machine, uh, sw sw switched over the, the cabinet to MVC2. And the first time we heard that music play, all of us, all of us, there was about, there was at least, there was somewhere between 10 and 20, 20 of us, 20 of us in the arcade. And when that smooth jazz started playing, we all looked at each other like, is, is, is this the wrong game? Like, hey, I think I, I think you put the wrong soundtrack in. It, it's 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 playing jazz. It's 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 playing jazz. I think I think you put the I think you put the wrong chip in there or something. It's it's playing jazz. Like, dude, that's the game. I don't know what to say. But it's but it's playing jazz. There's like saxophones and folks are saying words. This isn't. This isn't a Capcom fighting game. Yeah. And now, best game ever. Is the clock actually the clock is actually correct? <laughs> That's awesome. Now, I know folks are playing NBC C2. What the hell? Nobody's on. Let's see if I remember anything with Colossus. Oh, that's really sweet. Oh. Ah. Uh, four buttons. <laughs> There you snap me out. wrong with jazz it's a fighting game you no know, the clock is supposed to be accurate there was a version of the game where the clock never worked i want to say it was a ps2 version which was easily the worst version of this game anyway but uh it's just one of those things it was always just cool that it was a accurate clock in the background the one on the dreamcast was set to the system clock I think the Xbox, it was out of the Xbox or the PS1 version, a PS2 version of the game, PS1. Four buttons. 
God, thank God I'm not fighting somebody right now. I'd be getting screwed. Care about your armor? I'll just, I'll just do this. <laughs> Pull myself back. I remember some folks would think I was cheating when I played with him because they didn't realize that you you can either. Go all the way across the screen like that, or pull yourself back. So whenever they played with him, they wouldn't use that move because they they thought, well, if 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 I get blocked, I'm screwed. But I played the game, and I'd I'd be safe. It's like just pull it back. I used to love doing doing that. Folks kind of dash under him. God! Uh, yeah, my time is way off. And no juggernaut glitch. It's fine. I was always used to not using the glitch anyway. Is this X play? What? What? I'm missing something there. But ain't nobody playing NBC2 either? What the hell? Oh well, looks like I'll probably go through an arcade play. I gotta I gotta go soon anyway, but we'll just get a quick arcade run in and then I'm gonna call it quits. I got my I got the game I wanted to play online anyway. Ah, yeah, my timing is way off. Left. Yeah. Too bad that doesn't actually work. Yeah. I mean, he's just doing it. Man, it is hard going from six buttons to four buttons. I don't know. I was watching somebody. They just had it on every game, and they were switching back and forth between Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and 1 and X-Men vs. Street Fighters. Like, how can you go from four buttons to six buttons? I'm having a hard time doing it now. Me 
There's the Superman! But Ken's glitched ass air air hurricane kick is still in the game. Look at the damage that thing does. It's ridiculous. so fast in this game. Oh, when I would hit that, folks in the arcade, they would be so mad. You don't have matchmaking on. Yeah, I have matchmaking on. See the little, the little globe in the top left. I got it set for NBC Two and Marvel Superheroes. Just trying to find a match, but. Guess nobody's playing. Guess nobody's playing. Or everybody's just scared. Or everybody's just scared. That's how you do his super, super move. It is not as useless as everyone thinks. <laughs> Russians are in this game. Wait, how many Russians are in this game? Three? At least three. Somebody's getting thrown, dog, on it. play on fight cade yeah, yeah certain folks i'm sure
certain folks who, you know, don't believe that art should be bought but shared. I was young and broke once too. <laughs> I think you can get this for 40 bucks on... Oh, you, you gonna taunt me? Uh, Fanatical, I think, still has it for... 40 bucks if someone's on the fence and wanting a discount. I pre-ordered it for 45 from Games Planet think, think, thinking that nobody else was going to have it for sale any cheaper than that and then on, on launch day I found it for 40 bucks. Oh well. I was going to buy it anyway. I still have no idea what the hell he's saying there. Eat the blade. so much. Again now. Oh, damn. four buttons. Shock pack under the golden engine on fight cage. Stop them from eating into potential sales. <sighs> See, uh, to me, I don't think anybody who's playing it on Fightcade. I mean, to me, there's two type of folks that was playing on Fight Fight Fightcade. Oh crap! To me, there were two 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 folks that were playing it on Fightcade. The folks who were never going to buy it anyway. And then folks like me who've been waiting, ah oh crap. And then folks like me who's been waiting to get an official release so I can play it on modern consoles and stuff. Oh, come on. So, I imagine they probably think the same way. This was made for folks like me. <laughs> I think a lot of folks that, play that, that, that you know, go to Fight Cave were probably never going to buy the game anyway. Oh no, Omega Red. Now I lost my one shot for the fight. Final form. Stupid bubbles. <laughs> Got 
got that for like 10 bucks. I got a code for that. The Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection. I got a code for Street Fighter 30th Anniversary Collection, Street Fighter 5, and Ultra Street Fighter 4, I think. This is like one of the worst characters to fight this boss with. Alright, Juggernaut. Punch him right in the butt. Alright. Stop playing around now. Get back in the screen. Get back in the screen. Punch him right in the butt. All right. <clears throat> Can't be command grabbed. Uh, no. <laughs> There's nothing to command grab. Thanks for playing Marvel versus Capcom 2. I used to could tell you the difference between the ending of the arcade and the and the Dreamcast version. And now I don't remember cuz I've been wondering if this is the arcade or the uh or the uh, console ending. There was two or three pictures that were different. And I used to, I used to could be able to tell you immediately. <laughs> but I done, been, been done forgot. So, all right. All right. I got my, I got my head crushing fill in, I think. Um, if, if they command grab the boss, yeah. <clears throat> this was supposed to eat, eat, eat quarters. Yeah, I mean, shoot. I don't know, by this point, they didn't really make fighting games, like, super hard anymore. Except for maybe SNK, but SNK was on their way out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but, man. Man. I did get some Marvel superheroes in. That was that was the main goal on the first stream after launch, and I did it. I head crushed, and I head crushed, and I head crushed some more. First match on stream, I hit the double head crush. I'm happy. I'm satiated. It's ah, oh, I I love these games so much, but Marvel superheroes is just. It's just right here, man. It's right here. I can, I can, I can smell putt putt every time that a track screen starts. Matter of fact, hold on a second. Let me, let me, let me go. Let me, let me, let me, let me, oh no, I'm here. Here, I'm just, I'm just go ahead and, let's go ahead and end it out right here. Let's just, let's, let's just go to the, let's just go to the attract screen. Every time. Every time. As soon as this hits. I can smell putt putt. I can smell the the chewing gum under the, the the tables. I can taste the 80 ounces of 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 of, of Mountain Dew as I sit down next to the machine and I get my big big old cup full of tokens that I got because my brother and all of our friends worked at putt putt, so I used to play this game for free and just play it, and play it, and play it, and play it. This game, man. This game. It's just never going to be anything like it. It's always going to bring me back. Always going to bring me back. 
Yeah, Put Put. So the Put Put down here closed a long time ago. I think Put Put as a company closed. I want to say at least 10 years ago, but I might be wrong. I, I remember I looked I looked it up because I remember when the Putt-Putt down here closed for good. Uh, the building was around for a while. It's a uh, it's a used car lot now. Oh, fun times. You know, my brother worked there and we used to just go there. We, we used to go there as kids and rent games. That's how long we were going to Putt-Putt. I remember going to rent uh, Sega Gen... Genesis games from there, and we'd, we'd drive the extra distance after a while at the time because they had games that other play, places didn't. But you know, I, I think I don't think I actually I know I've, I've never played a whole of Putt Putt as many years as I've went there, and as many years as I could have just played it for, for, for free. I never put it one hole of Putt Putt, not a once. It's funny to think, think about I was always in the arcade because Putt Putt had one of the better arcades in, in, in the city. Because, I mean, even even before my brother started working there and we became friends with the folks that worked there before he started working there, uh, we used to, I, used, I used to go there to play Samurai Showdown 3. They were the only arcade that had Samurai Showdown 3 at the time. Um, oh, Street Hoops. Street Hoops. Oh, my God. They used to be just a crowd around Street Hoops, and we used to have wars on that game. Oh, that game was so much fun. Um... Uh, I used to go there to play Ki Killer Instinct 2. Uh, it was the only car. It was the only arcade that I can remember that had uh, Battletoads, uh, du du Double Dragon, and Battletoads. Definitely used to play that. Ye Are Kung Fu. I used to play play that a lot. They had um, uh, Dragon's Lair and Space Ace. By the time he started working there, I think they still had Dragon's Lair, but S Space Ace was long gone. Uh, let's see what else. What else we used to go there to play? I think like Afterburner. You know, a lot of the cl classic games too. But then as we got older and got into high school, the you know fighting games became the thing. So um, they had Darkstalkers one. I don't think they ever had Darkstalkers two because I remember having to go to uh, Aladdin's castle to play Darkstalkers two. But they they were the only arcade to have X Men. They were the only arcade to have. Marvel superheroes, uh, but they never got anything past Marvel s s superheroes though, fighting game wise. Besides, like Killer Instinct two, and they never had Darkstalkers two. So yeah, this was like the last kind of fighting game that they really got into. Because when X Men vs Street Fighter came out, you had to go to QZR to play that. Uh, Mar Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, we had to go to the arcade up at South to play that, but we were going to South at the time, so, you know. And then, uh, let's see what else. Uh, then Cyber Station had Capcom vs. SNK, Street Fighter 3. Uh, they had a lot of fighting games, actually. You know, obviously all the Namco games, but they also had, uh, like I said, Street Fighter 3. Capcom vs. SNK. Um, Mar and Mar Marvel vs. Capcom 1. That's right. Yeah. And so uh, Put Put closed. Uh, Q's are closed. So Cyber Station just kind of became our main arcade place. And that's where we kind of dominated on Marvel. Well, my brother dominated on Marvel vs. Capcom 1. I, I hated that game. I didn't hate it. I just didn't care for it. Um, and then, of course, MVC 2 came out. Oh, the good old arcade days. God, we're talking 25 years ago now. Back, back for that stuff anyway. Even longer for our earliest arcade days. And this, talking about before fighting games came out, baby. Freaking Operation Wolf. That's what I'm talking about. When are we getting the Operation Wolf co co le 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 collection? Dog on it. I want the arcade version. I want the NES version. I want, I believe there was a sequel to it. Throw in Nam 76 or whatever that SNK game was called too. Why not? <clears throat> Had to go to the arcade at the mall for uh, for Soul Calibur and NPC. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, folks forget. 
what Soul Calibur looked like when it originally came out. Everyone, everyone remembers it looking like the Dreamcast game. No, no, no. Soul Calibur in the arcade looked like Soul Blade. Looked just like Soul Blade or Soul Edge, depending on which mark marquee you you got. They did eventually release a uh, Naomi version in the arcades. I don't know if any of the arcades down here ever got the Naomi version or not. But they did eventually release a Naomi version. So some folks, that's the only version of Soul 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 Calibur that they knew. But uh but yeah, no, I remember the original Soul Calibur and it was uh you know, it was it, it, it was it was Soul Calibur, which what what made the Dreamcast game so ridiculous. It's like it was it was a completely different game. It was night and day. It looked so real. Astaroth is flexing, man. When his arm bent, his bicep got bigger. Come on. Uh, nobody but you fossils <laughs> remember Operation Blue. That is 100% true. Nobody but us fossils remember that. I loved Operation Wolf. I always point to Operation Wolf because I love that game. That and Cabal and um, God, what other games we play in the arcade? Like, obviously the T T TMNT arcade games. Wasn't nothing better than that. Shoot, um, the Capcom D and D games. Shoot, Aliens versus Predator. I was never a big fan of the Sim Simpsons games. I know that's kind of that's kind of bla blasphemous for some folks to say, but I don't know what it was about the Simpsons game. I used to love the show. I could never get into that uh to that the 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 side scrolling brawler, multiplayer brawler. I should have loved it because every other game like that I loved, just not the Sim Simpsons one. Um. But God, I remember back when Aladdin's Castle had all, they had all of those games. So it was on one wall, it was the, uh, what was it, six player X-Men game, right next to the, to the four player Simpsons game. And right across from it was Aliens versus Predator and Final Fight and uh, Dun Dungeons and Dra Dragons. Come on, come on. Tell me that wasn't the best time to be in an arcade. Tell me that wasn't the best time to be in an arcade. Oh, TMNT. Man, let me tell you, when the original NES game came out and we weren't, you know, again, internet didn't exist. There were only video game magazines that we didn't always get a chance to read. So we walk into the place to go rent the game and they don't have the actual box. They just have the cover of the game. And we see a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle games on the Nintendo. Oh, they made a Nintendo version of the arcade game. Let's go! Got that game hand. Got got that game home. Threw it in. Like, what the hell is this? We seriously kept playing that game, waiting on it to turn into the arcade uh, arcade ar ar arcade game. Never got past the seaweed. We're like, screw this, and told mom to take that crap back. <laughs> As the guys at uh, Engage say, weekend ruined. But they would eventually come out with the arcade game, and it was fantastic for what it was, you know, obviously. And it had more levels. Of, uh, yeah. Yeah, the first one. The first one. Oh, you want to talk about disappointment. You want to talk about disappointment. Oh, I remember like it was yesterday. But then I also recall walking into the arc, uh, the uh, arcade, the the video, video rental we used to go to at the time. It was a place called Gamers, and uh, seeing the box for it. And again, you know, they didn't have like the back. It was just like the cover, and then the box that the game actually came in or what, what, whatnot. So, but it was clear as day right there on the cover: Teenage Mutant Ninja Tur Turtles, the arcade game. <laughs> They knew what everybody wanted, and they gave it to us. So, is realistically unbeatable? The devs didn't fix one platform part during development. It can't be beaten. <laughs> uh, I've never seen that game played through until the Kawabunga Collection came out, and you could 
you know, have the game play play itself. And it's like a no hit run too. So I was like, oh, you know what? I, well, while I cook, I'm gonna watch a uh, playthrough of this original game because I've never seen past the uh, the the swim part. Never, never seen past that part. <laughs> so anyway, I, I actually got work to do, but reminiscing about all this old crap, making me feel young again. Oh, then adjusting in this chair in my back, reminding me that I'm not. <sighs> back to real life. Come on, man! Greatest game ever made. Greatest game ever made. Yeah, I'm not playing football anymore. That's why, that's why I'm in the position I'm in now. Actually, it turns out it's not. Turns out I'm in the position I'm in now for a birth defect. But anyway, all right, I got to go. I got to cook, and then I got to get back to work. But uh, you can see right there, mission accomplished. Head crushes all around. Uh, we'll hopefully see you guys next week. Maybe more folks will have the game and be playing it online at that point. Uh, I'll check that out cool but uh yeah thanks for coming in and chatting with me and helping me relive the glory days of when i ruled the arcades with one simple phrase head crush peace